Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking into Harry Eisted, who he is and whether or not he'll be a good fit for us. Now if you enjoy this video or you're a Cholton fan or you're a League One fan, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Loads of EFL content, not only League One and Cholton content coming for you this season. Harry Eisted obviously joins Cholton on a free after being released by Luton. However, a majority of his career he has spent out on loan from Luton, especially in non-league Oxford City, Chesham and Wildstone, to name a few. And obviously had that stint that has got him this role, um, in my opinion, this transfer, and that was the loan to Barnsley in January. Now, in his time at Barnsley, he appeared in 19 games. That's not including the playoffs. He kept eight clean sheets in that time and only 21 goals conceded and obviously that incredible incredible performance that everyone will know him for was the playoff final against Sheffield Wednesday. Now the heat map on screen shows he was very very good at commanding his area and even coming out at times where the ball was going over the top and clearing as you can see on the right side I think it is he's come out and cleared the ball um, I can't remember it exactly but I think it's on the right. In that game he made seven saves including that incredible double save in extra time which I was in the Wednesday end and I can tell you I almost thought it was in. He came and collected two high claims as well which is definitely something that Charlton keepers have always struggled with and this could be quite Quite a good acquisition. Now let's have a look at him from more of an analytical point of view. Um, a 67% save percentage rate last season, 2.3 saves per game, uh, 0.9 runouts per game. He's got a 100% success rate on commanding his area and coming out and collecting the ball, and that's including the claims um, and stuff like that as well. Um, free conceded from outside the box, 18 from inside the box. So it shows where his weakness is. It's definitely not on the long shots. And that is, again, one thing that Charlton goalkeepers are very, very, not bad, but are not great at um, saving our long shots. And they're normally the ones we concede. So I think this could be quite a good signing. From my own perspective and what I've watched of him and sort of opinions that I've gained from Barnsley fans, um, this is a very, very good signing. I didn't think goalkeeper was somewhere that we needed to... Um, invest in and even I know he's a free agent but it's definitely quite a good transfer signing and I think this was a good one to get our transfer window underway and um, Jojo obviously going to Hibs is Joe it's not a surprise I think he needed first team football somewhere and he needs to go somewhere where he's starting so he keeps his Ghana spot and yeah this is quite a good replacement for him and we've now got two strong goalkeepers in my own opinion I don't think Maynard Brewer was as strong as some of us make him out to be. Don't get me wrong, I think he is a very, very good goalkeeper, but I think he still has a few things to learn. And I think this signing where he's not going to have as much pressure on him being the number one, um, and Joe, you know, I don't know whether he'll be number one or not. We could see him be number one and Eistead as number two. But for me, I think Eistead should be our number one for the season. Now, I apologise, this was quite a quick video. It wasn't going to be one that I was going into too much depth. It was just a quick opinion on whether I think this is a good signing or not. Um, and as I said, I think this could be quite a good signing. If he's number one, then great. We've got a top six goalkeeper, in my opinion. Um, and this is one that we could really push on to playoffs next season. We need a few more signings, obviously. I said um, the other day, I said I'd probably say another five signings and I'd be happy. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button and comment down below who you think we will sign next. Um, if you are a League One fan and you're just watching it to sort of see my own opinion on Harry Eisted, then check out the one realistic signing every League One side should be making video. Um, I go into depth on every single team there and suggest one signing they should be making, including Charlton. So if you are a Charlton fan like myself, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Charlton and League One content, and I will see you in the next one.